job, bud. What's up, vintage motorcycle enthusiasts, and welcome to BB episode 14. Today is an extra special episode because today my son Liam is joining us to share with us his amazing vintage dirt bike. And if Yay. you're familiar, yeah. If you're familiar with this show, you know we usually drink adult beverages, but today's episode is kid friendly, so we're going to be drinking Capri Suns. There you go, son. Fruit punch variety. Let's see if we can get the straws in. <laughs> Punch. Yeah, because uh, the bike is red, so we picked a red color. Cheers, son. Yeah. Let's give these Capri Suns a try. Mm. Oh my gosh. Tastes like the 90s. <laughs> so what bike are we looking at today, Liam? A Honda MR50. And they only made these for two years, right? Yeah, and um, the two years were 1974 and 1975. And 1974, there were red tanks. So, and this is a 1974 bike because it has a red tank. That's right. And, and 1975, there were gray tanks. That's right. And we think this is the best kids' dirt bike ever made. It's a 50cc two-stroke. It's called the Baby Elsinore because it was basically a scaled-down version of the, the, the big Elsinore, the 125 and 250 Elsinore, which was the prominent race bike from Honda during the day. One of my favorite things about this bike, and Liam, you can talk about this too, is that it has a manual clutch and a three-speed, unlike a lot of the modern kids' bikes which have automatic clutches. Yeah. And what's the shifting pattern, Liam? Um, neutrals all the way down and three gears up, and first, second, thought perfect nice job and so Liam and I both bought this bike together we bought it from my good buddy Al who did a fantastic job at bringing this bike to life and making it look good and run so well yeah and Liam actually paid for 10% of the bike which is a Wheeler family tradition my dad um, had me pay for 10% of my first bike too so we carried that on and he's got ownership in it and uh, he maintains it. We cleaned the carburetor together the first day we had it because um, it had been sitting for a little while and got it fired up. That was a good day. Yeah. Remember that day. Okay, another one of my favorite parts about this bike is that it has big wheels. This has a 12 inch rear and a 14 inch front. Now that's different from a lot of modern bikes too. Um, a lot of like, if you take like a modern KTM, the SX Mini has a 10 inch wheel front and rear. And even the SX Standard, the big wheel SX50, has a 10 inch rear and a 12 inch front. So these are much bigger wheels on this bike to help the kids roll over obstacles and stuff, which I've just from observing seems to help a lot. But the seat height's not too high still it's yeah. a 23 inch seat height and like a, a ktm 50 mini is a 22 inch seat height the bigger 50 from ktm is a 26 inch seat height so just a really nice it's a compact bike with good ground clearance but it's got really big wheels to help them roll over obstacles easily the cool thing about this bike and we used this when you started riding too is that for the parents, you can set the throttle up. Yeah. There's four different stops. So when they're first starting out, you can set it so the throttle only turns like a quarter throttle. So they don't whiskey throttle it, wheelie through the, ha through the fence and get freaked out and never ride again. It's just a little bolt here and you can, <laughs> you can change it. And of course, you're on max now, right? Yeah. Really cool exhaust on this bike, which is large enough to make it an effective two-stroke, but they have this nice heat shield here to keep the kids from burning their legs, and then the pipe actually crosses back over for a little exit right here on the left side. It's got the cutest little baby drum brakes you've ever Dad! seen. <laughs> they work really well, but they're forgiving too. If you squeeze them hard, they really do stop, but it's not like a modern disc brake where they're gonna grab a handful of front brake and go over the bars or fold it. 
Now if you bought one of these and you want to confirm what year it is, it's real easy to tell. The 1974 models, the frame and engine numbers start with 100. And the 1975 models, the frame and engine number starts with 200. The ignition on this bike is ran by a point system, which is right here under this cover that's just held on with a little bit of pressure and this rubber gasket. Air filter is right here under this very cool little steel cover. You want to make sure that that boot is connected well, otherwise you'll be sucking more dirt into that carburetor than you want. Now we went through a couple set of stock grips but ended up putting these modern ODI grips on there and they've just been better. These frames have a large backbone and the motor is just kind of hanging there. I wouldn't call it a stressed member because it doesn't really attach on any side over here but it's got plenty of ground clearance. I think because the frame is set up that way it does have a weight limit on it. So maybe they just did that so dads wouldn't be riding these around all day. <laughs> anyway, what do you think, Liam? Do we hit it all? Yeah! Steel tank on these. Yeah. Don't dent them. Oh, and my number plate is... Oh, yeah. 27. That's right. And your number plate is... 17. I'm 17. He's 27. Your little brother will be 37. And then Audie, our little sister, will be 47. Well, you want to start it up, Liam? Yeah. All right. Tell, well, us, tell us about the process. Oh, my Give me sun. So you have to, of course, take this out and um, turn it on. Turn the ignition on. Yep. Yeah. How about some choke? Need a little choke? Yep. All right. Oh, turn the pet cock on too. Yep. Choke up. Give Let's... it a kick, tater chip. Ooh, almost. It's dead cold. It's like 40 degrees. The sweet smell of caster. Good job. Yeah. Fun stuff. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. It's been a really fun episode. Hope everyone has a fantastic day and cheers, son. Good yeah. riding. See you next time. What up, bit? Oh. Try it one more time. Oh, you did what? great, man. Yeah, you did perfect, dude. Get ready. Let's go.